Hi everyone, it's Karen. I've been making a bunch of cut files and putting them in my Google Drive for members of my Cricut Canada group. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to create these for yourself, clean them up in design space and have cutting files. First thing I'm going to show you is how to search for an image. Um, let's say I wanted to find uh, the map of Manitoba. I'm going to type in Manitoba map and then the word silhouette because that usually will bring you a black and white image that has a lot of good contrast that you'll be able to clean up and trace easily. Then I click on images and then I have a look at which ones look good to me. I want to make sure I'm not choosing something that has copyright protection on it and some of these are not maps of Manitoba such as this one. Um, so I want to make sure I'm choosing the right thing. Not this one either. That's Australia. I don't know how it came up with that. There are some up here. So I'm going to choose this one over here. You want something that has a lot of good contrast. Contrast between the light area and the dark area. It can be black and white. It can be white and red or something as long as there's enough contrast for the computer to be able to tell the difference. So this one is good. I'm going to right click and save this image and I'm going to put it in my temp folder, which is here. The name already says Manitoba 31. Sometimes they have some really strange names and I just rename them. So I'm going to click Save. And then in Design Space, I'm going to click Upload Images. I'm going to click Upload Image and I'm going to browse for my image, which I had put in my temp folder and it's called Manitoba. So that's it right here. I'm going to open it and here you see the image. This is a simple image to clean up so I'm just going to click simple image and I'm going to click continue. It's a little bit big so I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that I can see the whole thing on the screen. The only part that I want is this white part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this wand over here which allows me to select and erase parts I don't want and I'm going to click the parts I don't want. That is one big area and whenever you see the checkerboard design that means that that background is now clear. It's transparent. There's no background there and that's what you want because you want the, the program to cut around the outline of this shape that you have left. So for this area instead of clicking a million times I'm going to click and choose the eraser. I'm going to make the eraser a little bit bigger I can even make it bigger than that and I'm going to just draw over this area to get rid of that and you notice when I'm doing that there's a black outline around everything I'm going to get rid of that as well because I don't need that I'm going to try clicking and erasing selecting and erasing see what happens see it doesn't take the whole thing oh it did it took a whole bunch of that away I'm going to click preview so I can see what I've got the gray area will be where the program draws a line. So that looks good. The whole gray area is my map of Manitoba and that's what I want. So I'm going to click continue. Now if you did still have other bits here that you don't want that are in gray, you can use the wand or the eraser to remove them. So now I'm going to continue. Oh, there is another thing you can do. If there's an area of your image that you don't want, let's say there was a whole other section over here with stuff you don't want, you can crop your image. So you click the crop icon on the left over here and then you draw around the area that you want to keep. And that crops it down to what you want. I'm going to zoom out a little bit again. and this for sure gets rid of any border I had on the outside. So I'm going to click preview again. And you can see that I have the gray area, which is my map of Manitoba. So now I'm going to click continue. I do not want to save this as a print then cut image. I want to save it as a cut image. The difference is if it's a print then cut image, it's going to print what you see on the screen and then draw a lot or not draw cut a line around it. If you save it as a cut image, what you see in gray will be cut as an outline and you can cut that out of any color material you want. So this says Manitoba 31. I'm just going to call it Map of Manitoba. 
and I can put some tags in there to make it easier for me to find. So those are the tags I'm going to use and I'm going to click save. So now you see my map is here and I can load that onto my canvas. And I'm going to click insert images and here's my map. And now I can resize it to whatever size I want. I can also resize it in the edit panel. I can assign it a different color just to remind me of what color I want to cut it, whatever I want to do. I can rotate it. Lots of different things I can do with this. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.